show this one now. Eh, 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 eh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How you guys doing? <laughs> I'm feeling very pretty with myself and I was like, I cannot, I cannot just allow this makeup to waste. I don't understand. I can't allow this look to waste. <laughs> you guys, have you seen a beautiful girl like this before? I don't think so. Like, I don't think so. I don't, I don't even understand how. How am I this pretty? What the hell? <laughs> So you guys, I just finished filming four videos. I was gunning for six videos, okay? Because every time I film, I film maximum five videos. But by the time I get to that fifth video, I have condemned a lot of fifth videos because by the time I get to that fifth video, it's either I'm too tired or the lighting is so terrible. I'm just like, why did I even bother, okay? So I was trying to push to the fifth video today, but I'm tired, okay? I'm tired and I didn't want to film it here. I wanted to film it in my, like it's my normal sit down, my normal channel sit down video. So I wanted to film it in the living room, not here, because here I film my hair videos and also my reality check with Adeze videos, okay? So please go and check out. See, I'm doing my best to give you guys content back to back from different corners, okay? So if you don't like vlogs, I have sit down videos. If you don't like normal sit down videos, you like trending topics, I have that one for you, okay? Which other type of content are you waiting for? I have it. <laughs> if there is any other type of content that you want, but I am not making, then please let me know in the comment section. I will make it for you, okay? Do you want short form content? I have Instagram, I have TikTok, I have shots. All join. I'm a content creator. It's what I do. Hi, <laughs> oh, you guys. Let me not even lie. I have been struggling with content creation since I came to the UK. Wait, though, why am I even saying that I'm struggling? Seth, I refuse to say I am struggling. Have I been saying I'm struggling since? I've been saying it to, hey, God forbid, I reject it in Jesus' name. I am not struggling in Jesus' name. I am doing things with ease. Everything's working out for my good. Divine strength is my portion in the name of Jesus, okay? I have divine strength. I have divine wisdom to be able to manage everything and manage all my tasks. And I have maximum grace with minimum efforts. Okay, maximum grace with minimum effort. That's it, that's it. I need to remind myself. I need to remind myself. Maximum grace, minimum effort. I am not struggling. I will never struggle. Struggle is not my portion. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage, okay? Anyway, so um, yeah, scratch everything that I said. Yeah, I don't have I don't have any complaints, okay? I don't have any I don't have any complaints. It just hits me that I have been confessing negative for a very long time and it has been sounding normal in my ears since I don't know what just switched, but it has been sounding normal in my ear and no, 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 no. I, re I reject it in Jesus' name. I do not struggle. I don't struggle. I just have some things, you know, and I need to figure out. <laughs> I just have some things that I need to really figure out immediately. But yeah, I do not struggle in Jesus' name. Anyway, let me start cleaning up. I have talked with you guys too much. Let me show you guys some of the mess. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, so that's the mess that I am working with. Let me start cleaning. Let me start cleaning. something spectacular is happening okay just look at this rainbow i'm going to use my phone and film it and then show you guys it's just outside my office and it's so beautiful my phone cannot capture it well but i don't want to show too much that's why it doesn't look so like nice but i love it it's such a beautiful rainbow i know it just <laughs> you think i've not seen rainbow before and the sun is setting right now so everywhere looks really nice but yeah it just makes me feel happy I've already carried my children, we've already gone to look at the rainbow. But yeah, let me finish around doing what I want. Hey guys, I want to 
show you my night skincare routine whenever I have makeup on because on a normal day when I don't have makeup on all I do is cleanse my skin and use moisturizer sometimes I use other things but most times it's just I just cleanse my skin use moisturizer maybe use retinol maybe use rejuva maybe use <laughs> niacinamide anything that just comes to my mind okay I use sometimes I use glycolic acid but I use it only once a week so yeah if I feel like okay I haven't used it this week I'll now use it so I don't really have like a routine that I follow every day I do this and do that I do this and do sometimes I wash my face and do like a hundred things while sometimes I just wash my face put my moisturizer and dive into the bed okay but for days that I do my makeup and you know probably wear a wig all the things I'm going to do today are what I typically do on days like that okay I don't think there's anything that I won't be doing today okay you guys the lighting is somehow just pardon the lighting the lighting in this bathroom is actually the problem not the lighting I'm using okay it's lighting in the bathroom but I can't do without it okay anyway just look at how oily my skin is okay I did this makeup in the morning I used two primers okay I used um, matte poil with poilus something one poilus i forgot the name of my primer so i have two primers and mind you the weather is not hot in fact the room i was filming in is actually quite cold i have learned to turn down the heat of that room and sometimes open the windows okay if not i'm going to be sweating so i tried to do all of that today but look at my face okay but let me just check the time shall i think it's not that bad though if i, if I really think the time right now is almost 6 pm and I, I did this makeup around 10, let's just say around 9, 10 is when I did this makeup. Okay, I have dabbed off excess oil in between, but I think it is, like it hasn't separated, maybe around my smile lines. I don't know, this is not a makeup a, a review. I don't know why I'm talking about all these ones. Anyway, okay, this dress is beautiful, but I need to go and remove this dress. Let me relax. I'll remove the dress and pack my hair. I want to melt off this lace. Okay, I'll do that on camera. So let me just go and change this. You guys, I'm just laughing at myself, okay? Because... <laughs> so, this robe I'm wearing, this robe... Hmm? <laughs> My hand cannot even bend. Anyway, <laughs> so this robe that I'm wearing was given to me, you know, I saw it inside one of the packages that came, one of the hair videos I filmed today. It came inside it, okay? Nandula hair. Let me show you guys, okay? Nadula hair. So, <laughs> let me tell you why I'm laughing. This is supposed to be a robe, hmm? but on me, <laughs> on me, this is a blouse. <laughs> this is a top, but it's supposed to be a robe, bro. okay? <laughs> People should not laugh, but let me just show you. <laughs> I saw a comment in my comment section, someone said <laughs> Go and lose weight so that you can fit in into the UK or something like that I laughed tired that day As far as most people here are slim, but that's the truth yeah. Most people here are actually slim so <laughs> Anytime I go out, I always feel like a giant Because even the fat people here are usually short I might actually weigh more than them, but they are fatter because they are short and they have petite frame like you can tell that person has a petite frame but the person is just fat okay but me i'm always like a giant i'm always like <laughs> when i'm on the queue when i'm on the queue i'm always the same height with men in fact i used to be bigger than some of the men there but i'm always the same height with men and all the ladies are usually like just uh, the same but anyway uh yeah that comment was actually funny uh, let me pack my hair uh, So the first thing I'm going to do first is melt off my lace with water, okay? Melt off the wig with water So I just spray water generously around the perimeter Rub it in, rub it in The glue I use for this lace, not even glue, it's spray But that spray, almost, that spray is strong you guys, let me not show you my cornrow underneath, okay? My cornrow is a, is a mess, okay? I wash my hair, but I have not changed my hairstyle. <laughs> so my next project is to actually wash my hair and remake it because, yeah, I haven't found a salon here. I have tried 
Trust me, I have tried. It's not even about the money. I don't even care how much they want to charge me. If you want to charge me 200 pounds to come roll my hair, no wahala, but can, who will come and come roll my hair? Because I don't even want to go to a salon because I don't even have I don't have that kind of time. The only time I have to go to a salon is on weekends and and I don't I'm not even sure of the salon. I think you have to book an appointment, this and that. I don't know. So anyway, yeah, this part is gone. Let me just go and keep the wig and come back. Okay, wig is off. And the truth is that if I come roll this hair one time, like if I Take my my if I take my time and sweat and wash my hair, detangle it and come raise myself. That's the end. Like I'm never going to go to a super a, a salon because what am I going there to do? <laughs> I do my kids' hair, so I'm just hoping that you know somebody comes through for me quickly. Because if you don't come through for me and I do my hair myself, that's it. See, I'm talking as if I'm threatening somebody. Like, <laughs> am I high? Yes, don't do your hair and I used to anyway. Oh my battery. Okay, so I'm back. Now, you guys, I use um what's the name of this oil again? Jojoba oil or jojoba oil, but I use jojoba oil to melt off my lashes, my makeup, you know, that's what I normally use. And I usually pour it inside this spray bottle, but it has finished. I actually have a brand new bottle of jojoba oil, but it is inside the garage, okay? And I'm not about to open that backyard door and start entering garage in the middle of the night. Well, this is 6 p.m., but I'm not about to enter the cold just because of that oil, okay? So, skip! We're gonna skip that step. Or is there anything I can, I can bring out of here? I just need to melt my lashes off at least. Okay, there's some. Oh, yes, oh, thank God. This thing for somebody who is trying to 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 manage, I just sprayed it anyhow. I did not even I wasn't even intentional at all. The reason why some people you can just drag your lashes out, but why I like melting it is because the small lashes where I get, you cannot pull them come out. You guys, is it not funny that I'm now I'm now into lashes? Before I never used to fix lashes, no matter the makeup I do. In fact, the, the only time I did lashes before was when you know the makeup artist makes me up. But now I do lashes almost every time I film hair video. Wow, progress. We're making progress. Let's see if I'll do lashes on a normal day when I want to just go out. Let's see if I'm going to progress to that. I highly doubt. <laughs> I normally use this same oil to melt off my makeup, the first layer. But since it's not here, let me use this oil. So this is what I normally use for my second cleansing. Okay, on, on makeup days, I use this for my second cleansing. On non-makeup days, but days that I have been very dirty throughout the day, I use it for my first cleansing, okay? For those who know about double cleansing. Yeah, so this is the Anwar Heart Leaf Pore Control Cleansing Oil. Yeah, so I'm just going to put one pump. One pump is usually a lot. I'm just going to put one pump first and just start melting off my makeup it has a slight smell to it but not a strong overwhelming smell okay not a strong overwhelming smell but yeah it has a smell to it and i think it is korean it's a korean brand either korean or japanese or all those asian brands yeah, but it's one of them i think it's korean okay so i left it on for a few it's up to a minute i don't know yeah while i washed my hand and washed the body so when I have melted my makeup with that, the next thing I go in with, let me just off this light. I think that's the best thing. Uh -huh. So when I have melted my makeup, the next thing I go in with is one of these, okay? So this is called Clean Skin Club on Common Skincare Creation. So this is, um, these are towels, okay, basically. These are face towels. Um, they are they are not reusable so basically you use it and you trash it um yeah but the good thing about this is it's unscented it's on everything like i don't like using wipes on my face yeah so it feels like cotton fabric but it is not um it's not harsh on your skin it doesn't have any smell it's actually dry they say you can use it dry let me tell you what they say you can use it for okay i'm going to leave it i'm going to leave a link to this in my description box okay so you can use it on your dry face after cleansing that is to dry your face oh dry your face after cleansing <laughs> okay so you can use it to dry your face after cleansing you can pair it with a makeup remover to gently remove your makeup 
you can wet it and use it to remove your face mask wet free you can wet it and use it with a cleanser for gentle exfoliation you can maximize your clean towels use by cleaning your counter and sink before tossing okay so let's say you just wash your face and use it to dry your face you can use it to just clean your sink and everything before you toss it okay so one i use one to clean my makeup it doesn't matter how thick that makeup is okay let me just wet it it doesn't matter how many layers of anything that i have on my face i use just one like this and it cleans my face thoroughly so what i try to do though is i try to you know use it with sense basically so i use small 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 on one side then turn the back and finish it up okay so let me start from my eyes because it feels like oil is entering my eyes so this is my eyes that is one eye And that is the second eye. Try to focus on my eye because I have even mascara and all those things. And if you don't do like that, <laughs> yeah, you will still see your makeup on your face when you are done. Well, not with this clean towel. Actually. This clean towel actually cleans a lot. So I now use one part. And clean. Dessy, very dessy. I want to see my mirror. And it gently exfoliates as well. I can feel it on my lips. Like it's removing all the makeup, all the, the uh, what they call it now. Layers of lip gloss and you know, makeup there. It's removing it very well without. And it's not painful like it's not stripping it like a like a painful kind of stripping that's just one that's just one side so now i'll turn the back but i don't like touching that part so i'll just divide it into two turn the back and then clean my face again i normally do all this before i go and have my bath okay like i do this clean the makeup then i go and have my bath then I wash my face in the shower, then I come out and complete the skincare routine. But because I'm already filming this video, I don't have time for that. And I'm supposed to go and um, normally I'll just stop here and do what I have to do before I have my bath. That's if I clean it off early. Because me, after filming, I have to clean my makeup off. <laughs> I don't know the reason I'm doing anything. After filming, I clean it off. Because I need to still clean and reset the kitchen basically and give my kids dinner. That's if they're, they've not eaten by now, sure. Because my father is in charge studio. Any day I do my marathon filming like this, he usually just takes charge. Okay, so my face actually feels clean. Let me now go ahead and wash my face. So this is the cleanser I'm using now. It is the Eucerin Hydrating Cleansing Gel with Hyaluronic Acid, non-comedogenic. This is it. So I got this one in Nigeria, but since I came here, I don't even know, I, I didn't, I've not looked for it, but I bought several because I just bought some skincare products recently so that when someone finishes, I'm not looking for, because I have only just one, I never just have one cleanser, I always have two so that if one finishes, I move to the next. So I bought CeraVe, CeraVe seems to be common here, um, but this is just like a normal cleanser, it doesn't have any active ingredients, I think, I hope. Normally, I apply this, I do this, then go and have my bath, then before I come out of the shower, I run wash it off. But well, I'm going to do everything now. <laughs> Wash my face. I just use a paper towel to dry my face. Okay, dry as much as possible, okay? So, on a normal day like this that I did makeup, okay? That's the only time I use a toner. And the toner I use is a glycolic toner, okay? A 7% glycolic toner, right? It is only on days that I do makeup like this that I use it. However, I'm going to be doing makeup tomorrow as well and then after tomorrow no more makeup till next weekend so because of that i'm not going to use it today i'm going to use it tomorrow so after i finish my makeup tomorrow and everything like when i'm done for the day i will use after washing my face at this stage i just use my glycolic toner to try and get rid of any other excess you know makeup or anything that i missed already okay even though i usually don't see much on the on the what is the name I usually don't see much on the cutting tab. I just put it on the cutting tab and clean my face. The only part that I know that I usually see is if I try to clean like my hairline. That's when I usually see, you know, just something left. 
but yeah, nothing much. Anyway, so on the days I use my glycolic toner, <laughs> this explanation will go long. On the days I use my glycolic toner, after the glycolic toner, I use hyaluronic acid and my normal face cream, moisturizing cream, okay, my moisturizer, right? On the days I use my glycolic toner. But the days like this that I don't use my glycolic toner, I just go in next with my Rejuva. I've talked about Rejuva so much, I don't talk about them again, Seth. It's not like they're sponsoring me or anything. I've talked about it. Eh? So has finished. Yeah, pa. please come and sponsor me. <laughs> Send me products. Please forgive me. This one has finished though. And this is. Although I have some bottles though. I bought plenty when I was living in Nigeria. Not plenty, I bought three when I was living in Nigeria. So, but they're inside the store. I can't even go and get it. I want to just press out what I can press out from this one and move on and beg. Anyway, it was good by it lasted. So, I just go in with my Rejuva and rub all over my face. Ah! This one not reach anywhere, oh, it's so small. No reach anywhere. So after my rejuva, it didn't reach anywhere. I couldn't even rub on my neck. Although I've not had my bath yet. Okay. So I'll when I have my bath, well, not today, but normally I rub this from here to my neckline. But because I've not had my bath, I can't rub it on my neck now, okay? So this is just on my ah. It didn't it didn't it didn't go it didn't go well. Anyway. Let me now use my CeraVe moisturizer. That's the last step for me. I use my CeraVe moisturizer. Not every day. There are some days I just use only Rejuva and I go and sleep. But these days I've been adding moisturizer on top because I feel like my face is beginning to feel dry. Funny enough, I have oily skin. So it feels dry around the perimeter. But here it's usually oily. My nose is usually oily. You can see my nose now. I even have acne scar in there. I just started having acne again since I came to this show. I'm like, <laughs> have we not passed that stage? At what point do we pass acne? At what point? Like acne that will give scars and all that. I thought I've passed that stage. Yo. But apparently not. Since I came to this UK, I've been having more acne breakouts than normal. Oh, I forgot my lip gloss. My last stage is my lip balm, lip gloss, anything I just lay my hands on that's for my lips. Lip moisturizer, Vaseline, whatever. Okay, there's Vaseline close by. Let me get Vaseline. So I have a little bit of Vaseline on my lips and I am done. So I keep hearing people talking about, oh, your skin is so glowy, your skin is so glowy. My skin is not perfect. I don't know what you are seeing. <laughs> I know what you are saying, Sha. I get that my skin glows, but it's not like my skin is not spotless, which I mean, I don't expect it to be spotless. That is realistic for regular human beings like me, okay? For you to have like spotless glass skin, it's not by all these things that we come here and show you guys. Let me let me just tell you now, okay? No this and no peace. If you want to have spotless glass skin, you need to exercise very well, you need to eat very well, you need to be going for facials and all those things. Some people even get IVs and all those other external treatments. Like go to spa and they'll do treatments for you, okay? Yeah, like or dermatology. So it's not um it's not by all these ones. Well, it depends. Genetics too has a part to play. So if you're naturally if you naturally have nice skin, if you do some of these things, your skin will just pop, right? Very easily. But if naturally your skin is prone to different blemishes, you will need more than just uh, Rejuva and all those things, right? But Rejuva helps. If The two things I attribute to glowy skin for me yo, is Rejuva and my vitamin C, okay? So I use the Paul Roth something something vitamin C. It's very expensive, you guys, for vitamin C. <laughs> Don't think that the vitamin C is as big as this room. <laughs> Don't think it's one, one gallon of vitamin C, yo. it's one small jar like this. I think that is those are the two game changers for me, Rejuva and that one. But the reason why I bought that vitamin C was I wanted to really, really understand what was going on with my skin. You know, yeah, so, but I still have this. It's not as bad as it used to be, but I still have it. But overall, I'm flawless, okay? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Has this vlog ended? It has ended though. I don't have anything to add and I want to go and cook. I don't even have time to vlog what I want to cook, Seth. Not even cook. I want to just go and arrange in the kitchen. 
But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Look at the love X for me now. Love X, that's what the vlog there. He don't finish. <laughs>